Princess Anne's rarely pictured living room at Gatcombe Park Mansion is unexpectedly cosy. Princess Anne and Sir Timothy Lawrence might live on the generously sized Gatcombe estate, but their royal couple's living room in the main house is surprisingly cosy. The Princess Royal and her husband of 31 years don't often share photographs from inside Gatcombe Park, located on the 700-acre countryside estate in Gloucestershire, but they did share this snapshot of them watching television back in 2021. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. At the time, the photograph was shared on the royal family's official Instagram page, showing the late Queen Elizabeth II's only daughter, 73, and her husband, 69, relaxing on their sofa while watching sport. The snap allowed royal fans to get an idea of the personal items that are sentimental to the pair, and many spotted trinkets, framed photographs and beautiful paintings all in the modestly sized lounge. Anne and Timothy were sitting causally on their red two-seater sofa, while a singular armchair draped in the same paisley and floral pattern was nestled to their right. In front of them, a coffee table was placed on the Persian-style rug and was full of magazines, books and papers, no doubt for the pair to thumb through at their own pace. The flat-screen television was sitting atop a wooden cabinet, which appeared to be a vintage piece of furniture that perhaps houses an old television unit. In the corner was a large bookcase cabinet filled with trinkets, animal ornaments and photo frames. Eagle-eyed royal fans noticed old photos scattered across the room including from Princess Anne's daughter Zara's christening in 1981, a photo of Zara and Anne's son, Peter, together as children, a military picture and various other family snaps. At the time, social media users commented on how normal and cozy the room looked, despite belonging to a senior working member of the royal family. As one fan summed it up, I love that their house looks like anyone's grandmother's house. It's not only the living room that boasts sentimental personal touches at Anne's home. Her home office, which was shown in a previous Zoom call with her late mother back in 2020, is full to the brim with trinkets and photos. On the shelving cabinet which could be seen just behind her, Anne had neatly scattered a number of animal ornaments across the glass shelves, including birds, rabbits and horses, no doubt a nod to her love of animals and wildlife. More photos, including one from Zara's wedding to former England star Mike Tyndall in 2011, were seen in the background. Princess Anne has lived in the main house since the 1970s after her late mother gifted her the sprawling Georgian residence. In addition to the home office and cozy living, the house has five main bedrooms, four guest bedrooms, four reception rooms, a library, a billiard room and a grand conservatory. Princess Anne stepped out for her third Buckingham Palace garden party of the season and she chose quite the avant-garde hat. The Princess Royal, 73, opted for a tailored long-line coat in a pale grey fabric with subtle floral patterning. The knee-skimming garment featured a sharp collared neckline and her faux pockets for added interest. The princess has been known to wear these smart coat dresses for formal occasions for a put-together look, even on warmer days. It wouldn't be a royal garden party look if it didn't feature some kind of eye-catching headwear. The princess didn't disappoint, opting for a hair-heightening grey number with cornflower blue satin trim, and a large flower adornment made from feathers. Zara Tyndall's mother opted for a classic set of accessories, opting for a double string of pearls, a pair of navy gloves, and a crossbody bag slung over one shoulder. Her hair and makeup were similarly paired back, as per her signature muted style, bar a shiny pink lipstick. Rounding off Princess Anne's look was a sweet seahorse-shaped gold brooch pinned to her left lapel. The piece has remained a staple in her wardrobe, and has been seen as part of a princess and ensemble as early as 1979 when the royal attended the great children's party in Hyde Park. It has been reported that the brooch was given to Prince William's aunt on her wedding day to her first husband Mark Phillips in 1973 from the Fishmongers, the fourth of the medieval guilds of London.